option for modifying a style, but I don't want to show you twice, so we will cover it later in this slideshow. Before we move on to nesting styles, which is where I'll show you how to modify the style, I want to talk about fixing broken styles. So very easily you can break a style by creating one style. You can see that style here on the left hand side, right? It has a blue tint to it, it has a blue border, etc. If you modify one of the elements that has the style applied, so I added a drop shadow to this uh, picture here, that will break a style. And you can tell that a style is broken um, by the plus sign. The plus sign is saying that, you know, the thing that you have selected is different than what's saved, and you need to make a decision about that. And so it is very important to keep your styles organized. It is very easy to break your styles by accident if you're not paying attention. Styles can be broken if an instance of the style is edited independently from the style. Wherever a plus sign appears next to a style, whenever a plus sign appears next to a style, you should stop whatever you're doing and you should fix it. The plus sign represents a broken style. This means whatever object or selection of text you are currently working on is different from the saved version of the style. In order to fix a broken style, you must first decide if the style, the original style is correct or if the edited style is correct. For example, if I added a drop shadow to a graphic frame that is linked to a picture frame style, it immediately breaks the style. Do I want all instances of the style to have the drop shadow or not? Depending on your answer to the previous question, you will either override the changes to remove the drop shadow or redefine the style to accept the drop shadow and apply it to all instances of the style. Both options can be done by right clicking the style when the plus sign is present. So if you did not want the drop shadow, you would right click the, the style that has the plus sign and choose to clear override. Say, oops, my bad, clear the overrides and go back to whatever was saved. And you see on the right hand side here, it clears out the drop shadow and it puts the original saved style back on all of the frames. But you don't have to choose that. You can also right click and choose to redefine the style. And if you redefine the style, this becomes the new normal and all of the other instances of the style will now also have, in our case, the drop shadow. Note, redefine style will not be an option if multiple objects are selected unless they all are formatted in exactly the same way. If one object still has the default style applied and another has been modified, the redefine style option is not available because InDesign doesn't know which objects you want to redefine the style to. So make sure you're only selecting one object at a time.